What's up, YouTube? Sean the Gamer here, and I'm trying to figure out how to talk about this, but I think I'm just going to talk about it. So I'm sorry if I sound sexist, discriminatory, or anything like that. This is not what I'm trying to set out to sound like. Or, because this little topic, conversational piece, can go both ways. So what I'm really, the, the point of the video is how to talk to somebody or talking to somebody that you like but they probably don't feel the same way about you. And then respecting boundaries and things like that. Yeah, like how to respect boundaries with the opposite sex. You know, talk about a few different things in this video. So just how to respect the boundaries within the opposite sex when it comes to a few different topics. Uh, first topic I wanna talk about is, you know, friendship. So say like you meet a girl at the mall. You start talking to her, yada, yada, yada. You just change numbers. Okay, maybe in your head, okay, oh, this is going somewhere. I'm going to, you know, be able to do what I want to do, you know, smash, yada, 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 whatever you want to do. In her head, oh, he's a really cool guy. I see him as a friend. Okay? So, this is the point where we're at. So, once you're at this point, you meet a girl or you're talking to somebody and you you feel some way and she doesn't feel, and you don't know how she feels, but you think you know how she feels. Kind of makes sense. So y'all get to the point where y'all link up, whether it's at a movie or a date or Netflix and chill or what have you. And you try to make your intentions known, rubbing on her thigh, rubbing on her leg, probably try to go in for a kiss or however you young kids do it these days. You try to make your move on the, uh, on the opposite. Because it's like, they just go both ways. And then the opposite tells you, no, I don't really... I'm not into you like that. I'm loving what we're doing as friends or yada, yada, yada. Um, but I don't, I'm not into you like that. That's a nice way to do it. Or I say like same scenario. You get in there. Uh, like I said, you're trying to attract the opposite and then, you know, hand on a thigh or however you young kids do it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. But you, uh, you make your move and then they go, Ew, what are you doing? I thought we just doing Netflix and chill. You didn't tell me about all this. That's not how you do it. Especially if, you know, because that, that could really curse somebody. That could really hurt somebody, especially they have low self-esteem. Like, what if you're in high school or middle school? This is like your first quote-unquote date or interaction with, a, with, with somebody with the opposite. So... That can be a really crushing experience where as uh, the first experience, you probably like, oh, damn, that didn't go as planned. Let me, but she said, we're, we're cool. She doesn't mind being over here. So you can use that as a building step towards something because now she knows what your intentions are. Like, okay, he actually likes me. So what if she didn't say that, oh, I didn't like you back, but or she just said something like, hey, you know, that's not what I came over here for. You know, that's, you know, Netflix and chill, watch a movie, eat dinner, yada, yada, yada. So keep it normal, guys. Whether you're a man or a female and the opposite tells you that, keep it normal. And then after that, you know, maybe the day after or whenever you feel like texting them, like, hey, yada, 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 uh, sorry about dinner last night, but this is how I feel about you. And then get the response from there and go from there. Because I have a couple of situations right now, two that I kind of want to talk about, kind of don't, because they're perfect examples of like what I just said. So without going into too much detail, I have one female friend, very attractive, who always needs like a little extra assistance with certain stuff. Maybe she needs a ride somewhere or if I could help her with a few dollars and yada, yada, yada. And I'm a generous person. So she's and she's very, very attractive. So I'm like, OK, here you go. I gave her a few dollars. And then a, little, a while ago, I'm not sure how long ago, but this is a good little while ago, you know, I decided to quote unquote make my move and, you know, try to get my little feel on. And she, you know, she shut me down. She was, but the way she did it was like, oh, I don't know if she was playing. I honestly don't know if she was like playing or joking or anything like that, but it kind of turned me off. This is what I mean. It kind of turned me off because we were just walking and I was like, you know, you know, we were intoxicated. Uh, and so I'm like, all right, let's see where this goes. So I tried to be on feely touchy and stuff didn't work well she was like uh don't do that or i'm gonna go get somebody yada 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 i'm like whatever okay so i just knew right then not to do that no more and and at that and in turn I, it sounds like douchey and mean and uh feminine i don't know sexist and all that but i don't really want to help her like that anymore 
it's not the fact that she shut me down. It was just the way that she did it. If she just would have said, hey, you know, we're cool, but not that cool, yada, yada, yada. You know, hey, if she said, hey, ha, 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 don't do that today. Maybe one day, but as of right now, I'm not, I don't feel to you like that. It would have been different. But it's just like, hey, I'm going to get my, I'm going to go get my boyfriend, baby daddy, because she got one of them or something like that. I'm not sure. She could have been joking. You know, I could be missing out on my opportunity. But at that point, I got turned off. Like, she's still very attractive. I mean, it's not like, oh, that bitch ugly now. But, you know, if she, you know, when they hit me up now, I'm a little, I'm a little less likely to reply, especially if they need something. See what I'm saying? But on the other hand, I just went and came back from my other homegirl house. <sighs> that thing right there. Anyways, let me not. Me and her can get together. We can, we can chill. We can talk. You know, talk about real life stuff. You know, you got a problem, I come over there and she'll talk about it. Or she'll come over here like, I just need to get out the house for a second. Come over here. And we just chill. And she knows I'm physically attracted to her. But in the way that she did, in the way that she does it, you know, we can still believe, be flirty and playful. But I know where the line is. I know what I can and can't do with her. Like, if I want to rub on her thigh, yada, 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 I can do all that. You know, but I just know. You know, the possibility of sex is probably slim to none. You know, it's slim, but chances are it's not. But I understand my boundaries. You understand what I'm saying? So, in Klein, she doesn't need my help anymore. She did at one point. Like, you know, every day, you know, we were always together. I, you know, either going to the gym, I was helping her, you know, because she had a car accident or something. So I take her to her appointments for her therapy, her back therapy and her massages and stuff like that. If she needed to go get groceries and stuff, I do that stuff for her. So, and it's a lot of females and friends. I do that for period, you know, because we have that kind of relationship. And like I said, me and this female in particular, I know what our relationship is. Unlike the first female I was telling you about who kind of like, I don't want to say it rudely, like I said, she could have been playing or not, but the way she did it at the time, it was like, uh, yeah, don't hit my line no more for a couple of weeks. I don't want to talk to you. So, like I said, it had nothing to do with the fact that she would not, you know, let me smash or yada, yada, yada. It was just in delivery. Me and my mom have this argument all the time. It's all about delivery. Like, she gets mad at me all the time because she says, I'm an asshole. You know, I, literally, she says, you're an asshole. You're a sarcastic little asshole. You little smart ass. Because those are the only cuss words my mom say. So she'll tell me stuff like that. It's like, okay, I get it now. It's my delivery. So just like if you are a woman and there's a man at the mall or something trying to talk to you, you don't have to be like, with this thing face. You know, you don't have to do all of that. You just go in. You, they come up, approach you, be like, Hi. Well, it also depends on how they approach you too. But if somebody just say, hey, how are you doing? My name is yada, yada, yada. I thought you were attractive. You don't have to give them the stank face. You can be like, oh, hi, my name is yada, yada, yada. Even if you're lying, you know, thank you for coming up and approaching me. Uh, but I have a boyfriend or I'm not interested. Yada, yada. Something simple. You know, it's all about delivery. It's all about delivery. You don't have to be rude and disrespectful about it. It's all about how you approach the situation and how you tell the opposite how you feel. You know, like I said, I've only known, let's put it like this, the girl that I've still, you know, uh, my friend, Exhibit B, since she was the second person I talked about, B, I've only known her maybe a year today. And Exhibit A, I've known that female for a handful of years, maybe five plus years. And I'm more inclined to help the one I've known for a less amount of time because of her approach, her delivery, and how we're able to hang out and communicate with each other and know our boundaries you know because they were set up you know in a nice polite way instead of exhibit a where she was kind of rude and disrespectful you know you you can make the argument and say oh well you shouldn't have been trying to touch on her anyways you're right but at the same time it's all about delivery if she would have just said you know listen this is somebody it's not like i'm just met the girl I feel like I'm defending myself against you guys. You haven't even replied in the comments yet. But, you know what I'm saying? It's not like we were just at the mall. I was at the mall with some friends, and it was like, look at that bitch right there. You know, go holler at it. And I came up, smacked on the ass. I was like, hey, bitch, what's your number? Oh, my nose ring. So, it wasn't like that. I was like, it was, you know, we were just walking. I just, you know, I think she was actually dancing. And I smacked her on the ass or grabbed her ass one. And, you know, I'm a guy. I'm high. 
and you twerking, I'm gonna do something. So leave your thoughts down below uh, on this subject matter. Am I wrong? Am I thinking about this wrong? Let me know because I feel like it doesn't matter. Like I'm not, you know, out every day looking for sex. I'm out every day looking for money. <laughs> so it's not like, you know, I'm out every day propositioning women for sex. It's just when you see something you like and you want to go for it, you try. You shoot your shot all the time. And sometimes you miss. Sometimes you brick. And sometimes it's goaltending. It sometimes it's literally just goaltending. And that's what I want to call this situation. Goaltending. Like, hey, I know what you want. You almost got it, but uh -uh, uh -uh. Uh, off the rim, on the backboard, you know, in the paint. I'm the defender. Goaltending. I know how to play basketball. I'm really good at it. So, like I said, am I wrong? Leave it down below. Leave your thoughts on this subject matter below. Like I said, this works both ways. Maybe you're a female and there's a guy you like and you're trying to make a move on him or you made a move on him and he was rude and disrespectful about it. Like I said, it works both ways. So you just leave me your thoughts down below. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? It's just something I've been thinking about for a long time. And there's a lot of my female friends. I be, I literally tell them, you don't even understand. If I had a vagina, I'd be living in Hollywood <laughs> in a 15 bedroom mansion just off promising the vagina. So... I don't know. I'm a hoe. I am a hoe. I, I'm, I'm trying to leave my hoe. That's what my uh, exhibit exhibit B. She calls me all the time. Like every time I go see her, she like, "Hey, hoe, what you doing?" So I'm like, "Okay." So let me know down below. She's not the only person that calls me hoe. I think half of my friends call me hoe, even though I'm not having sex with anybody. That's the problem. That's the, that's my problem. How can I be? Comment down below. <laughs> Everything is linked in the description down below, other than YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Leave me your thoughts on, you know, whatever. I'm done. Share, like, and subscribe. With all that being said, I am Sean the Gamer, and I...